All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. And I'm doing things Devon Graham style today where you'll just see my hands. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna be going through my DVD collection today and it should be fun. So when I moved into this apartment, I didn't have enough room for my Blu-rays and DVDs. So I chose to just stick my DVDs in these cases in these folders with the you know the pages or whatever for the discs I did keep the boxes don't worry about that I am not the type of guy to just throw the boxes away I hope to one day have enough room for my entire collection so I did not get rid of the boxes and this video is also exciting for me because I have not gone through these in a long time maybe like a year or so because um, I've mostly been watching Blu-rays and admittedly streaming here and there but yeah this is my DVD collection I've been collecting DVDs since high school maybe actually before that I probably started in like middle school maybe fifth or sixth grade even I'm not really sure but I've been collecting these things for a while, so I'm excited to give you guys a sneak peek inside my DVD collection today. So look, don't judge me on the way that I sorted these things, it's kind of random, but over here I've got my favorites and the horror, and then over here I've got comedy, westerns, fighting slash UFC, <laughs> and TV shows, and series. like. You know Harry Potter Lord of the Rings that kind of stuff so yeah let's go ahead and uh, dig into this so I'm gonna start with favorites and horror and depending on how long this video is I might divide it into two parts one part for each binder but yeah let's go ahead and get started like I said, I have not looked through these in a while, so this is kind of a new experience for me as well. Uh, there's a lot of movies in here that I haven't watched in a while as well. And yeah, I don't know. So the as it says, favorites and horror, the first few pages are gonna be my favorites. I don't know exactly when that'll transition, but I'll try to point that out for you guys if it's not already obvious. But let's get started. So, we got Southpaw. I think this is a really underrated movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. I don't know why people hate it. It came out about the same time that Creed came out, if not at the same time. And I think it was a better boxing movie personally. But I haven't watched it in a while, so my opinion may have changed, but I love it. We got Birdman, Whiplash, Ex Machina. Of course, these two were both 2014 releases. I love both of these movies so much. Um, I upgraded this one on Blu-ray Whiplash. I need to upgrade Birdman, but I have yet to do so. I also need to get the 4K of Ex Machina because it's on Amazon for like, um, I don't know, like seven bucks or something right now. I need, to, I need to upgrade that guy. Maybe there's a reason it's seven bucks, I don't know. We got Nightcrawler, another 2014 release. No Country for Old Men, Eyes Wide Shut, my personal favorite Kubrick movie. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. Yeah, I love this thing. I do have the Blu-ray copy of it. I need to upgrade some of these others though to Blu-ray. I do have Full Metal Jacket 4K, so yeah. So this is most, not my whole Kubrick, because I, I think I do own just about every Kubrick movie. Except for a couple, but got Full Metal Jacket, 21 Space Odyssey, Pan's Labyrinth. I admittedly have never watched this. I know, I know. And it's even been on Netflix for a while. The Limey, a very underrated Soderbergh movie that I watched in film school. And we were dissecting like the editing style and editing choices. It's a very cool movie that I think you guys should check out. I don't know if this even has a Blu-ray or, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it has a Blu-ray release. I need to look into that and check it out. 
Next, what is this? Oh yeah, Apocalypse Now, which I own the the entire like 4K collection. Um, but yeah, Apocalypse Now, great movie. End of Watch, a movie that I don't hear too many people talk about, but I I haven't heard negative things about it either. I love this movie. Jake Gyllenhaal, of course, I think. Fuck, I hope I'm not getting that wrong. Then we got Brothers, very underrated movie. Natalie Portman, Tobey Maguire, Jake Gyllenhaal. As you can tell, I love, <laughs> I love Jake Gyllenhaal. Um, Crank, awesome Jason Statham, blah, 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 blah movie. Jason Statham movie. Lord of War, a very underrated Nick Cage film that I love. I have it on Blu-ray. I need to upgrade to the 4K eventually, but I'm happy with just the Blu-ray. Love this movie. Go check it out if you have not seen it. The Dark Knight, of course. We got Skyfall, my one of my favorite James Bond movies. I also love Casino Royale and a bunch of the other like classic James Bond movies. But as far as Daniel Craig goes, Skyfall is probably my favorite. Secret Life of Walter Mitty, Ben Stiller, very underrated movie as well. The Book of Eli, I haven't watched this in forever. I need to also upgrade that probably. John Wick, I own all of them on Blu-ray. I actually own all of them on 4K, um, not Blu-ray, my bad. It follows, I upgraded this today actually. I got it in the mail from Amazon, upgraded to Blu-ray, I love it. Great movie, great horror. Bram Stoker's Dracula, Fritz Ford Coppola. Pandorum, I don't hear many people talk about this either, but I love it. Sinister, another one of my favorite horror movies. Here we go, the Tarantino, Hateful Late. I need to give this a rewatch. I've only seen it like twice and I love Tarantino. And for me to have only watched a Tarantino movie twice is blasphemy. Yeah, Kill Bill Volume 1. I own uh, Volume 1 and Volume 2 on Blu-ray now though. Pulp Fiction I also have on Blu-ray. Fucking love Pulp Fiction. I love Inglorious Bastards. That's one of my favorite Tarantino movies as well. A Girl Walks Home Alone at Night. You guys saw my commentary, hopefully, that I did on that. Great vampire flick. If you have not checked it out, you need to do so. And what is this? I think it's Enter the Dragon. Yeah, Bruce Lee, Enter the Dragon. Oh my God, I love this. This thing blew me away. I need to rewatch this. Here we go. What is this? Is this also Enter the Dragon? What the fuck is this shit? I don't know. I think it's I think it's uh, Into the Dragon. I don't know. I I hate these discs, by the way, that are like double sided, whatever the hell you call them. I hate that shit so much. Oh my god. I'm gonna flip on the autofocus. Hopefully it won't fuck up. Okay, the Warriors. I mean, I think everyone knows that that's great. Dark Knight, The Matrix, Watchmen. I need to rewatch this and upgrade it. I love this movie. Desperado, Desperado, Hola de Nacho. I love this movie so much. Once Upon a Time in Mexico, also amazing. I love Quentin Tarantino. I love Robert Rodriguez. Fuck, man. I need to rewatch all of those. The, the Mexico Trilogy or whatever it's called. Oh my god, I need to rewatch that shit so much. Hitman. I don't know why this gets so much hate. Timothy Oliphant, I, I love it. I might even be saying his name wrong, I don't know. But great actor. I love him. Alright. We got Shooter, Mark Wahlberg. I don't know. Wait... Yeah, Mark Wahlberg. <laughs> I love this movie. Death Race, I haven't watched this in forever. This used to be one of my favorites, but I think that might have aged not so well. I'm not sure. Shawshank Redemption, of course. I need to rewatch this as well. I need to rewatch a lot of these, but uh, yeah. Enemy at the Gates, Jude Law, amazing. I love it. This is really just giving you guys an insight into what movies I really love as well. So hopefully this is entertaining. 
Um, for those of you who don't know what I'm really into, here you go. Riddick Trilogy, Pitch Black, Dark Fury, The Chronicles of Riddick, Forrest Gump. Okay, if you guys watch my channel, you know I've never watched Forrest Gump all the way through. I don't know why. I just am not that interested. Um, man, I need, <laughs> I need to watch it though. People are going to give me so much shit for that, but I don't care. Too Fast, Too Furious, Halo, Forward, Unto Dawn, Halo 4, is that what it says? Yeah, I guess so. X-Men Wolverine, you guys are going to hate me for this too, but I love this movie. I haven't watched it in a while, but I don't know why everyone hates it, honestly. Is it because of the Deadpool thing? Because, like, come on, man. Like, does it really matter? Like, fuck. The Rundown. Okay, back to this real quick. It, it probably aged not so well, but whatever. I also remember, when I was younger at least, liking Attack of the Clones right here. And everyone hates that. Um, I don't know what's up with that, but... I need to upgrade my uh, prequels of the Star Wars franchise to Blu-ray. I do not own those on Blu-ray. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World. Awesome movie. Edgar Wright, I love it. This is this is where my favorites stop, I think. I don't even know what the hell this movie is. Wolfhound. I think I bought this because it had a cool cover. It was probably like a Walmart $5 pickup. I am not really sure. Um, well, no, I do love some of these too. So I don't know what Wolfhound was doing um, in there. But Pirates of the Caribbean. I fucking love the first couple of these. At least the first one, and I haven't watched these in a while, but the first one always has a place in my heart. I watched that when I was a lot younger, and I rem I don't know. I just have so many good memories with it. Undisputed, an underrated series, I feel like. There's a couple of these that are pretty good, and they're awesome. I think, uh, I think Jai White's in one of them. Is that his name? The guy who played uh, Black Dynamite? I don't know. Another one of my favorite movies. It's probably in here somewhere. Yeah, we got Rambo, the uh, you know self-titled film. I don't know exactly what number this is in the series, but it's the one you know where he mows people down on a hill with a 50 cal, and their bodies just get obliterated and shit. And how can you go wrong with that? I mean, come on. This is one that I recently upgraded to Blu-ray as well. And I'm due for a rewatch. King Cobra! Um, so then we've got Platoon. We got From Dust Till Dawn, another recent Blu ray upgrade of mine. What the hell is Full Tilt Boogie? Is that like an alt title? Or is that like a. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Um, Daybreakers. I remember loving this, but I've only seen it once or twice. I need to rewatch it. Terminator, Terminator 2, which I also recently upgraded all the Terminator movies to Blu-ray. So I've got those. Alien vs. Predator. This is a movie that I remember loving that everyone hates and I still don't know exactly why. But I haven't rewatched it in a while, so I'm due for a rewatch. Resident Evil Extinction, I don't have anything good to say about that really. I don't know why that's even on this this fucking page. This is kind of where it's transitioning into horror, um, but I love The Witch and I love 1408. Oh my God, this uh, John's, John Cusack, whatever the hell his name is, and Samuel J. Oh man, you guys know Jackie. Oh, I love him. <laughs> Jackson, you guys know. I like to call him Jackie because, you know, we go way back. We're, you know, we've been friends for a while, you know, blah, blah, blah. 30 Days of Night. I don't remember much about this. I need to rewatch it. Then, of course, we've got Saw. I'm currently rewatching Saw, the Saw franchise, to get ready for The Spiral to come out. Um, I'm a little bit excited. You know, even though I don't have high hopes, I am still excited. So, I've always been a fan of Saw. It's one of the first horror franchises that I really got into when I was a lot younger. So it holds a special place in my heart. Then we got The Strangers. I love this movie. 
Clockwork Orange, so we got some more Kubrick in here. Great movie. Silence of the Lambs, great movie. Hannibal, great movie. I actually don't know if this is a great. It's been so long since I've seen it. I've seen Silence of the Lambs several times, but I've only seen Hannibal once. And then I bought it, I guess. The Crazies remake. I love this movie. Timothy Olyphant again. The Ring. Fuck yeah. 28 Weeks Later. Fuck yeah. I love 28 Days Later too. But I love 28 Weeks Later more. And at least at the time of re release, this movie got a lot of hate. I don't know why. I, I guess people were just comparing it to the first one or whatever. But I love it. Ooh, excuse me. Yeah, this is definitely going to be a two-part video. I'm already going on like 17 minutes. The Collector. I think I have this on Blu-ray. Dawn of the Dead. Zack Snyder. What is it? 2004 or something? I love this movie. I still don't know why that Dawn of the Dead set that came out that everyone had a hard on for did not come with this. <sighs> I, don't, I don't get it. Like, everyone's going nuts for the set. And it's like, it doesn't come with the quintessential Dawn of the Dead film, in my opinion. Like, Romero can suck a dick, to be honest. Like, have I seen most of his movies? No. But do I love Dawn of the Dead 2004? Yes. And it needed to be in there. Okay, I'm sorry, Romero and Romero fans. Don't suck a dick too hard. But I, I love this movie. What can I say? The Descent, holy shit. Watch it, man. We got Mirrors. I haven't seen that in forever. I don't think it's that great. <laughs> Green Inferno. I think Corey sent me that on Blu-ray. Thank you, Corey. Or Jonathan. I think it was Corey, though. But thank you to both of those guys for sending me movies. We got Darren Aronofsky Pie, his uh, directorial debut. Great movie. Actually... I don't know if it's great. I haven't seen it in so long. Um, but I own it on VHS. It's a really cool VHS movie to have, in my opinion. Blah, blah, blah. Requiem for a Dream. Holy shit. What the fuck is this? Oh, my God. What do we got here? What is this? Oh, Altered States. Sh fuck yeah. I love this movie. This was one of the first VHS tapes that I bought when I started collecting VHS tapes. Whew, it's an out there movie, man. I need to upgrade this to Blu-ray. Uh, Cloverfield, I recently upgraded to 4K. Rob Zombie's Halloween Unrated. Eh, I don't know. I liked it when it came out, but I was also not too familiar with the original for Halloween movies. So, yeah. I don't know. I don't feel as strongly about it today. Jacob's Ladder, I do, though, however, feel really strongly about it fucking love this movie army of darkness i saw this before i saw any of the evil dead movies and i didn't know what the fuck was going on or what it was about but uh man this is a movie that i just have good friends hanging out with uh, uh who was i think i was with jerome chase that you guys have seen on the channel before i think he's the one that showed this to me actually and it's a crazy ass movie. I love it. Go watch it if you haven't already. I hope the focus is okay during all this. I might need to edit and make sure. But Vacancy. I need to watch this. I remember really liking it. Um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's Luke Wilson, is it? I'm not sure. Ghost Adventures. I think this is their first movie, the uh, original documentary. I think this might have been before they started the TV show. I know they get a lot of hate, but it's, it's television. I mean, come on. I don't know. The Lost Boys. I need to rewatch this because honestly, I saw it once and hated it, and then I bought it for whatever reason. You know how collecting goes, you know. You hate a movie, so you got to buy it. I don't know. That's just how it works sometimes. <laughs> and then we got Alien. Aliens, Alien 3, I don't have Resurrection, I guess. I thought I might, but I need to buy all those on Blu-ray or 4K. Do they have a 4K of the Alien franchise yet? If not, they need one. 
Uh, I love it. So, yeah. Sleepy Hollow. Good movie. Haven't seen that in a while. Then we've got, uh, what do we got over here? Sucker Punch. Jamie Hart. Jamie's Hart. Um, she put a good word out for this movie. And I rewatched it not long ago because of her. And I love it still. It's just like a, an awesome video game style movie that I th think is directed by Zack Snyder. Correct me if I'm wrong. But I think I am right about that. Great movie. I don't know why people hate it. Come on, guys. Savages. Don't remember much about it, but uh, I think it was good. <laughs> the Purge Anarchy. That's the second one, right? If it is the second one, I think it is. With uh, Frank Grillo. I liked it. 127 Hours. Great movie. Killing Them Softly. A Brad Pitt Brad Pitt flick, excuse my language. Brad Pitt flick. Then we got some uh, some Wes Ander, Wes Anderson over here. The uh, the life of zoo aquatic or whatever it's called. I don't know. Can't remember. Blood Diamond, very underrated Leonardo movie. I don't know why no, more people aren't talking about this. Like, come on. Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind, very overrated flick in my opinion. But fuck it, whatever. That's just my opinion. Uh, Killer Elite. I don't know why the fuck I own this. I saw it in the theater and fell asleep. Uh, yeah. Moulin Rouge. I wasn't sure if I own this already, but Corey, again, I think it was Corey and not Jonathan, uh, sent me the, like, DVD. I think it was, like, a special edition of Moulin Rouge. I was shown this by an ex-girlfriend of mine, and I actually really like it. And then... Her and I actually ended up going to Paris and going to the actual Moulin Rouge for a showing or a show or whatever the hell they call that shit. I don't know. Is it like burlesque? I'm, I don't know. But it was great. Great time. <sighs> THX 1138. I don't remember much about this, but I think it's a very weird movie from what I remember. Yeah. I don't. <laughs> this is one that I bought for based on the reputation of being like a bizarre film and then I never watched it. I don't even know. I'm not going to attempt to say that. Like, come on, guys. What do I speak? Russian here? What is this? Um, the Eagle and eh, Middle of the Road Shia LaBeouf movie. I don't know. Exit Through the Gift Shop. A great graffiti movie that mostly focuses on Banksy, but it focuses on some other stuff too, like Space Invader and blah, blah, blah. Really cool. Uh, Gladiator. Don't need to say much about that. Come on, guys. And then we got the last page. Skateboarding, video, tape, whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, Zombieland. Great movie. I have that on blah, 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 Blu-ray. Blah, 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 Blu-ray, baby. Grand Budapest Hotel. Wes Anderson. I, I, I really like Wes Anderson. I don't know what uh what you guys think but this movie this is what sold me on wes anderson and then i started watching some of his other movies and then i started masturbating to them and then now i'm a fan it's that's just how how life works sometimes and then we got the texas chainsaw massacre remake i love this thing of course you, you guys know i recently did a video on the original which i just watched for the first time not long ago go check that out if you have not already but I need to rewatch the remake as well. I own that on Blu-ray, so yeah. So that's gonna wrap up part one of my DVD collection. That was just half of it. I've got that other binder that I'll make a video soon on. Oh no, it's going out of focus. So that, that was my favorites, the horror, and then some other random stuff thrown in there. Oh, God damn it, why is it doing this now? Is it because it's dark? Like this is black, I don't know, but. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys will come back for part two of this. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know um, what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know some of these movies that are also your favorites. And just, I don't know, man. Have a great day, everybody. Thank you. I'll see you next time. Peace out.